Hey guys, in this video we'll cover two um, basic animations and um, we'll be using our FXGL Wars app that we previously did which is GM3 Wars clone. If you haven't been following tutorials then you can download the source code from the link. Um, and we're also using FXGL005 um, um, the link will also be up um, in the video description. So make sure you add this to the Java build path before you build this application. And to show you a quick demo of what we're going to do is, so basically this is um, the War, Geometry Wars clone that we did, except uh, we had circular um, enemies and now we have square. So when you shoot an enemy, it now explodes into um, lots of small pieces, particles. And now when you score something, or, or you score uh, positive points or negative points, um, these are animated to go into the pool of um, points or score uh, in the top right corner. Okay, so this is the application that we already had. I will I've just done a few modifications. Um, so here you might notice these are the new lines and so when there is a collision between player and enemy we do this, so basically we set um, property alive to false and then we play score animation on player and we um, Play it with a value of minus one thousand, which is the score, uh, which is the number amount of points that are being subtracted from the score. Then we have a collision between bot and enemy. If uh, there is one, then we add a hundred points to the score. Um, we play it from the enemy's position, and we also play death animation of an enemy. The names of animations or um, methods and the parameters it will take. Um, will mainly depend on what actually you want to do with your animation. So first of all we'll do the score animation. So this is basically, these two methods are the new additions to this um, file. Uh, play score animation, it takes an entity and a value which is the amount of points to add or subtract. We create a new entity, um, call it it doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, set translate x and set translate y, which is basically where we um, call our positioning. So this is where we place our um, entity. Um, we take translate x and y of the object that we just passed. So it will spawn um, right on top of it. We then set graphics, which is basically just text with a value of um, variable value. So we first convert it to string and then pass it to text. And then finally we add um, our new entity to the score um, to the list of entities. And this is the actual um, animation that is happening. There are two ways of doing an animation within FXGL. You can either call pure JavaFX, so JavaFX directly, and use uh, its animations, or you can do um, using a control, which we'll cover in a second. So, translate transition, which basically is animation which changes um, an object's or a node's um, translation to uh, from the origin. So, we translate transition and then we uh, pass one second as a parameter. So, this is the duration of uh, the uh, transition. <coughs> then we pass the node um, on which we are doing the animation. So, in our case, it's an entity. Set 2x and 2y, these are the end coordinates of the entity, or basically when the animation ends, where when our translate translate transition ends, the object's coordinates will be these, um, 1150, so it's basically top right corner. In fact, these are the exact coordinates of um, our text uh, UI element. So it will 
uh, appear as if it goes directly to it. And if you see this, uh, when you score, it'll go directly to the UI element that we already have. So it's a nice animation. When the animation finishes, we will need to remove the entity so that it's no longer displayed and can be um, cleaned up. Finally, we add the we increase the score, which will automatically increase the value um, in the top right corner. And now that we've created our um, animation object, we can now play the animation. Okay, now the death animation of an entity. Uh, so we now have a our enemy is basically a square, which is forty by forty. Which means that if we do um, twenty by twenty loop, we can have a two by two pixel, um, and then there will be twenty such pixels in one single row, and in one column. So we're essentially making a square out of pixels which are two units high and two units wide. We create an entity particle, we call it particle so that we can then um, access it to remove it. Um, particle, um, we translate x and y of the particle to place it exactly where um, our enemy is and then we keep adding the two units as the loop progresses so that we are populating this square um, with our particles. Once we've created the particle we set the property alive to true so that it could then be set to false so that we can clean it up. Um, rectangle is the graphics we set the color to red Essentially, you would want this to match the color of your enemy or whatever the thing is. So it will create a an illusion as if the object that you're shooting at is sort of collapsed um, or exploded. So set graphics this rectangle. Then we create the vector, um, which is basically a random x and y, uh, where to move the so this is the basically random velocity of each particle um, it's random because we want each particle to go uh, on some um, in some direction and then we multiply it by two to give it slightly better speed and then we set property vector um, this vector object so that we can access it later um, in this control um, class or rather instance of the control class this will typically be um, in a different class file. So we particle at control. We use um, the lambda. You could you could use just a normal y, which would be new control, and then implement methods. And you would place all that thing in here. So it's exactly the same. Except with lambda it's uh, much cleaner. So we now have our vector. Uh, we obtained that through the get property method. So it's basically the same object except we can obtain it here. And then we set property vector again. So we re basically replace um, the vector with a new vector which has slightly uh, greater y value. So this is a sort of a simulation of gravity. So it kind of uh, goes down every time when you particle explodes or the enemy explodes with particles and then particles slowly accelerate towards the um, bottom of the screen as if gravity is uh, being applied to them which is basically this thing. And we then translate um, using x and y of this uh, vector. Finally, if the translate y is greater than 720, which is the height of our window, then we set property um, alive to false so that we can then 
in our uh, update method yeah here so that we can use um, it to obtain the property alive and if it's false remove the entity from the list otherwise we'll have too many objects especially with particles because we create um, quite a lot of them and yeah and then add um, the particle to the list of entities so this is how you do it uh, with the control where you manually animate um, the entity in here the entity is animated by native JavaFX um, objects classes so like um, transition is basically an animation yeah and I think that is it for this tutorial um, like I said the source code for this tutorial will be up and FXGL um, link to FXGL will also be there and thanks for watching